Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the first Euro Truck Simulator video on my channel. We're going to start diving into the simulators, the world of simulation. I'm a massive fan of simulation and we're going to start today with Euro Truck Simulator. So first things first, welcome everyone. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I hope you have a good time here. I hope you have a good time chilling and having fun and uh, enjoying the simulators with me. So first things first, this is Euro Truck Simulator 2. This is modded. Uh, we have a bunch of mods installed. Um, a bunch of mods, like, uh, I say a bunch, it's it, it's not that much. Uh, I recently wiped my mod list and installed a bunch of realism mods. But there's nothing like new trucks or anything installed yet. You guys have to leave me some recommendations if you want me to try new trucks or whatever. Uh, but we're starting fresh. This is also a brand new career as well. We are starting inside of London. And it looks like we have to go from London to London. So we're going from... Nos Pastorago, I think that's meant to say. I'm pretty sure that isn't even a UK company anyway, but I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. Sorry, my Spanish is not great. And we're heading towards Aldi, which is nice. Uh, a few mods that I've got, as you can see, I've got Pro Mods installed. Pro Mods in expands the world, adds a ton of new uh, locations to the game. And it also changes the way that the map looks. For example, the UK is a lot more UK. Well, it looks a lot more like the UK, pretty much. Um, and there's that. We have a bunch of sound mods as well, as you can hear. There's probably, like, one going off right now, like some ambient noises. Um, but we'll discover them as we go through. So we're driving the Scania. As you know, when you start the game, you have to pick your favorite truck. For me, I chose the Scania. Everyone's a massive fan of the Scania as well, though. So, you know, I guess I'm just rolling with the trends here. Uh, but the Scania is absolutely a beautiful vehicle. So we'll start it up. Um, other things as well is, as we're using mods, because they're not officially supported by the game, there may be a few issues. I did do a quick test run, and there seemed to be a little bit of a sound issue when we're pulling out of um, out of this company. So we'll see if it does it again. Um, I think the game was imitating a car being behind me, and it wasn't, and it was honking its horn at me. And I was like, is that coming from my truck? That, that is so weird. But that's the only issue that I seem to have come across. So yeah, let's head to the first company, which I think was Aldi. Uh, let's go. Another thing as well is that currently I am using automatic. I have manual, um, you know, reverse and neutral and then accelerator equipped. But until I get into like the six, seven gears, I'm not going to use my power shift on my wheel to, uh, to pretty much uh, shift up, shift down. The reason for that though, okay, I hope that I get a red light fence for that. It should be fine. Uh, the reason for that, though, is because when you're driving in a city, it is very annoying to drive around constantly and constantly have to go between 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th uh, as with paddle shifters, in my opinion. Uh, I would rather, you know, just chill and not have to deal with that because obviously I'm recording a YouTube video as well and, and you guys are going to be able to hear me constantly using my paddle shifters 24-7 uh, especially if I'm accelerating and decelerating so I don't want that to be the case I just want it to be a nice chill live commentary of me playing Euro Truck Simulator uh, something that you guys can enjoy pretty much but once we get our own truck and we're able to select the 6 shifter and we will do that. So as I've been saying that, I obviously don't have a shift to IRL. Currently, I'm, I'm quite low on money, kind of looking for a job IRL. So we're hitting hard times right now, you know, like I'm currently 21 and I have no experience with like jobs as well. So I am struggling a little bit getting my first ever job because in the past I've done competitive gaming and freelancing stuff in the past so people aren't really a fan of that but once you get rolling once you start making money then you know then we'll deal with uh, having a shifter and making the game feel more realistic for me but as for now I've got a wheel 
and this wheel was bought like years ago not years ago maybe a year and a half ago uh, I'm speeding a little bit uh, it was about like a year and a half ago when I first got into simulators at the time my friend was really wanting me to get it for Project Cast 2 because we were playing it I was he was playing it with a steering wheel I was playing it with a controller and he was like man it's so unfair that I'm using a controller and I was like is it really though and then I ended up buying myself a steering wheel with um, a bunch of money that I made because I also streamed at the time as well I bought myself a Logitech G29 and then we tried Project Cars 2 together once again and I still ended up whooping his ass so you know looks to be him I'm just a better driver and uh, no I have not driven a once in my life my whole driving experience comes from playing racing games I play a lot of um, Acela Corsa A lot of both games actually. A set of Corsa and a set of Corsa Competition. I don't even know how to say that, it's Italian. Competizione? I, I always get it and I always crack it. I'm like, yes, I'm gonna remember this. And it comes to the next time that I mention it and I'm like, I kinda don't remember this. I can't remember it at all. Um, so. I'll try and crack it next time I mention it, I guess. But yeah, but those simulator games are really fun. I feel like I'd be a lot better with driving experience in real life, you know? But I don't have that. One day, once I get a job, I'll have that. I just gotta keep applying for jobs and uh, hopefully don't become bankrupt in the time. Now I have to turn right here, right? I'm just driving for, driving for this car park here, just casually, I think. a big curb now one other thing as well is I in the past haven't moved my microphone in front of my face while doing racing games or simulator games or while using my wheel um, where are we going here are we going in there I think we're parking in there. Oh yeah, no, that's the, that's the cone mod that I added. Okay, that is the cone mod that I added. Oh, I'm not used to these mirrors. Oh, I don't have the real FOV mod on for the mirrors. That's something that I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna do it this way instead because I'm really not used to this. I, have a, I used to have a real FOV mod to help me be able to understand what's happening in the mirrors better and apparently I didn't install that again. So I can't really see through my mirrors correctly. So anyway, yeah, the microphone. So if you watch my Forza Horizon 3 videos, the two that I did, they were live coming to the steering wheel and I actually had like the microphone like plopped like really far away. For my mic, uh, for my mouth. Uh, that way. So, pretty much, like, the, the quality wasn't great. And if you compare the mic quality in those videos to this video, it should be, like, 100% better. Because I've actually moved it in front of my face again. You probably will be able to see my steering wheel, and there's nothing I can do about that. Unless I decide to not do live comp. Now this is very difficult. I am having a hard time right now. I never expected that my first job would require me to... ...to park in the smallest of spaces. Like I said, for the next episode, I'm gonna have to install the FOV mod. Dude, wh what is this? Let's pull that back out again. Like right now, you can probably hear me yanking on my wheel trying to turn it. I wish I knew it was here before driving down here because it would have made it like 10 times easier. Well, that's the right. Okay. 
a bit more rotation. Oh, there you go, we should be good. Oh! That was crazy. And I'm sorry for using the exterior camera, but like I said, I can't use those mirrors. I need to get the real FOV mod. But yeah, damn. That was a crazy job. Try to shove that in there. And as we got a new save, we're going to have a cutscene right here. Yeah, that's our humble abode. Yep, we get this. I think all of us have started a Euro Truck Simulator thing many times before. So we're going to take our first quick job from London. And we're going to go to... Oh, it's given us a lot of, like, long haulage jobs already. I don't, I don't want to do a long one this episode because we've already started this. We've already done a fair amount. So let me go for... Let's go for distance. Root length. That's what we need. I think the shortest one, yeah. The shortest one is to Felix though. So let's hit to Felix though for the second option today. Oh, we're starting in the exact same place again. This time we're driving an Eveco. Right, let's, get, let's get going straight away. I don't know if I finalized saying it, but microphone quality should be 100% better. Let me know how it sounds. I can, I'll can also be able to hear it in like the the editing after recording this video. I'm 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 recording it with a separate source right now, so I can do a little bit of you know audio tweaking as well if I need to. I send the lights on. Okay. There we go. I can't remember which button I said to. Now, pro mods, I, I really love pro mods. Like, so they recently released pro mods onto multiplayer as well. So if you're a fan of Truckers MP and you haven't realized, well, you can now play pro mods on Truckers MP as long as you have all of the DLCs, which is really, really nice. Uh, I have played it a little bit. Sadly, the, the Steam account that I play on right now, like, I end up family sharing all my Eurotruck Simulator DLCs from that, from my main old account to this Steam account. And the issue that that brings is you can't play online on a family shared Steam account. So if I ever want to play online, I have to log on my old account and then, and then use that. Uh, which obviously doesn't seem like a big deal. You guys are probably like, oh my god, the Iveco does not break at all. Did I hit him? Oh, I just tapped him apparently, but I didn't get a traffic offense for that. Go, my man. Be free. Is he going to go? Ah, he's going now. So I made a new account because... I, uh, I Because I used to be a, a professional Rocket League player and I have a lot of friends on there. And it got to the point where... I really didn't feel like... People clicking on my, oh, like click, people click on my Steam account and being like, hey, look, this guy's got 3k hours on Rocket League, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it sounds pretty petty, but, you know. Uh, other things as well is that, like, I don't want to delete people. I'm not a fan of, of just randomly deleting people because I don't want to speak to them anymore. So I just, I just, if people want to actually talk to me, I'll log on every now and then and be like, hey, yo, where have you been or whatever? Or they can message me on Discord. But I made a, a similar Steam account instead to play racing games and simulator games on pretty much and that's about it kind of like ch changing the tide in life a little bit one of a fresh start on steam which is why this is getting family shared over but the limitations for that is truckers mp they end up wanting you to verify your steam account so if you end up being on a different steam account but still have all the dlcs if you try to log on to your account but it's not very like it checks like what steam account you logged on to for example and if the Steam account is like, oh, he's not logged onto the same Steam account as we expect. It just says invalid username, password, or email, and password, like every single time, even if it's correct. 
Because the first time I ended up trying to do it, because when I first made this account, I didn't understand that that was a thing. And I remember that I tried to log in and I was like spending so much time trying to log in onto multiplayer on this account and it being like invalid, invalid, invalid. And I was like, I've really got to log onto my main and see a lot of my old Steam account and see exactly what's going on with this. Logged onto my old Steam account. Boom. I logged in straight away and I was like, eh? <laughs> what is this? So, until I ended up actually buying DLCs in the game on this account, which I was kind of hoping to do at Christmas because that's when everything's going to be on sale and whatever, but you know, it's now November the 11th and I don't have a job. Uh, it's probably not going to happen, but we will see. You know, you got you got to get those Christmas deals in like it, like around this time. And as for that, games that I am looking forward to and games that I am potentially wanting to play in the future. So Red Dead Redemption 2 was just released on PC, on Steam, I think. I think it must have been shoved on Steam. I want to see why Rockstar wouldn't just shove that on Steam. So yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 has been whacked on on Steam. Uh, I kind of want to play that. I haven't played Red Dead Redemption 1 and I wasn't really eager to play Red Dead Redemption 2. But then I was told that um, the game takes place before Red Dead Redemption 1. So there's no issue with playing Red Dead Redemption 2 before Red Dead Redemption 1 because that's the original order of the story anyway. So after I heard that, I was like, you know, maybe, maybe I want to try it out. And like, I've been trying to stay away from Twitch streams and everything of like, everyone's just been playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on Twitch. And it's like, I'll click on someone that I normally watch for like speed running and they just sat there playing Red Dead Redemption 2. And it's like, I really can't watch you, my guy, in case I end up wanting to play this game in the future or whatever. I can't watch you. Even Squirrel, like Squirrel didn't do his uh, Sunday Night Trucking this weekend because he was too busy playing um, Red Dead Redemption 2. Because I think he's been very enjoying it. And I just click on his stream and he's like playing it a little bit. And I'm like, I watch him for a little, but then when I ever get to story elements, I'm like, if I ever get the game, I don't want it spoiling for me. I mean, it's made by Rockstar, right? So you pretty much got to push yourself past the boundary of it's going to be an old game like old game is in like set in like the old times um but it's gonna be a lot like grand theft auto but we but without cars you've got horses right and i i love i i really do love grand theft auto games so i definitely should give it a try once i end up having the income and and all that stuff which brings me on to the second point so what have i been doing apart from playing simulators and racing games. Uh, recently, I set myself a challenge. I've just been like, like some days, I'm just bored out of my mind, right? It's like, like, I just really want to get a job. So, I'm just sat there and I'm like, what can I do? I set myself the goal and the challenges of. Why do? You, oh, we have to go in the right lane here. Set myself the goal of 100% uh, in every single Grand Theft Auto. I say every single, every single Grand Theft Auto. Oh, the AI stops so fast. Like so fast. I have to slam on my brakes for that. Um, every single Grand Theft Auto, apart from like, well, all the ones that are on Steam. So we've got Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, GTA 4, GTA Liberty City Stories, and GTA 5. So they're the ones I want to do. I was thinking about maybe trying to try uh, Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories. However, you have to get like an emulator for that and all that sort of stuff. And I really don't think that I want to. But also like I can't exactly show my completion or that I've completed those 100 percent because you know there's you can't like upload it to steam or anything but excuse me bro you didn't realize you're in traffic lights right my guy I think that was that guy that guy there 
I don't think he'd be that guy. Yeah, so I've been uploading screenshots just to the Steam, so when I want to look back at like games I've 100%ed in the past, I can see it there. Now, I have finished GTA 3 and I have 100%ed that, and we shoved the screenshot onto Steam for that. But as for Vice City, I have actually 100%ed Vice City before. But I never screenshot it on Steam and kept it. So now, because I've completed GTA 3, we're now going to complete GTA Vice City a second time. And I already know what happens. I've already, like I said, I've already 100% it, so I already know what to expect. So right now, that's, that's kind of like the grind fest for me. And whenever I'm bored, like, that's what I chill through. Currently sat on doing a bunch of taxi missions. Got to do 100 taxi fares on Vice City. But, you know, it's, it's something I like doing. I like grinding. It's why I play RuneScape. And by the way, it's old school RuneScape if, if anyone ever watches and, and decides to start judging me for playing RuneScape free. I actually play old school RuneScape. And I've played it a lot. But yeah, that's me. That's me as a person. I like grinding. And after I finish Grand Theft Auto, it's probably going to be... I'm probably going to try The Witcher. I did play a little bit of The Witcher uh, when I first got it. And I got up to like... Actually, I'm going to change the lens here too. Sorry, Kai, you're going to have to slow down, mate. But what's this? What's that, sir? Quality modding beyond borders, beyond limits. Oh, that's a nice slogan. Uh, probably going to move to Witcher 3 once I finish with Grand Theft Auto because I got up to about like halfway through the game and then stopped. I ended up playing the game completely wrong, and I think that's what was throwing me off a lot. I mean, I, I know, oh, okay, we might be in a little bit of a traffic jam here. Are these guys going to do something? Oh, they both moved at the same time. Oh. Wait, he, he just wanted to change lane. That is all that guy wanted to do was change lane. Okay, that is very confusing. My, I, oh, red light. I keep getting interrupted so much in the middle of a com uh, of a sentence. So I got halfway through Witcher 3 uh, and I kept completing it completely wrong. So whenever I'd unlock like a new objective on the map, like a new location to go to, uh, try and unlock a new thing. I can't remember exactly what happens in the Witcher 3, which is why I want to play it again. Uh, but I'd always go and complete those two. And I was like, I'd never continue with the story because I'm just too busy sitting there farming pointless things uh, let's cut this guy off and yeah i never really enjoyed it but i want to go back in again and, and try it again and try 100 percent that game too now i don't know how easy it is to like 100 percent a game like the witcher i feel like it, it would be an achievement and a half but you know i'm down for it like i said i love grinding so so why don't i you know why don't I? Hey, we have now arrived at Felix though. And our drop off location seems to be in the heart of Felix though, so we've got a little bit of a drive still to get to the city center. But I love pro mods, like the amount of detail put into this game, like the UK really feels like the UK now. The original UK really does not do itself justice. I know SES said that they really want to go back and redo like the UK again, because it really is just bland, honestly. They just were trying to put like a template down for the game for people to enjoy. And it's just the same thing over and over and over again. Like the cities look really bland as well, you know. Um, so, pro mods, like absolutely fantastic. Honestly. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway. We're now here at the location. Now I know where I have to park, which is nice. We got to park in the cones. So we're just going to do a quick swoop around in the yard. 
park ourselves up nicely just so we can reverse this in. I don't know if you can knock over those cones. Probably not. It's probably just a different, like, marker mod. To use. Alright, we didn't swivel over correctly. But we should be fine. Oh, I hear these mirrors. I just, I can't use them. Like, the FOV is just horrible in my opinion. Whoops, I accidentally put the parking brake on, apparently. I think something else is broken as well, because why are all the containers, like, white? I feel like there might be a little bit of an issue with my mod load order or something. I haven't really paid attention to the trucks on the street. But as you can see, we've got that work in the Hesses. The Hesses work, but nothing else seems to work. Alright. Kind of overdoing this a little bit. We should be fine, though. We'll plop it there. Turn off the engine. And I Vico. See you later, my guy. Alright. That was London to Felix, though. 92 miles. 2 hours, 34 minutes in game. We get our first ever reward perks. So. What I'm going to do for this playthrough is we're going to avoid long distance for a little bit. So we're going to explore a bunch of the UK. We're going to go high value cargo as our first level. Second level fragile cargo. Third level just in time delivery. Then we go fourth, fifth. And then for the sixth level, we'll probably go one for long distance just so we can get a little bit further. Uh, then 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th is how I plan on doing this. Uh, and then we'll just, up, like, once we get all these unlocked, it means we get any sort of cargo you want to deliver. Um, I mean, unless we start kind of upping this and this, pretty much. Uh, high violet cargo, if you get to max, you get, like, helicopters and stuff, right? And fragile cargo. I mean, it might be part of fragile cargo as well. I don't know if these ever link together at any point. So we're going to shove this into... Yeah, we'll go ADR first, so we can start transporting explosives if you want. That was the first episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that I've got to get used to speaking and then not trying to change my train of thought because something weird's happening in game and try and remember what I was talking about. Uh, but that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys found it a lot of fun. Uh, and I hope you all subscribe and come back for episode two of Let's Truck. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I'm not too sure what I'm going to call this yet. I mean, that's why I put the the, the name of the profile is Let's Truck. But we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching. Like the video. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in another simulator video.